I think they're outside. Have a good day at school. Have fun. <laughs> oh, my dog has had his treat this morning. Ready? Okay. So today is Monday. Clayton is back in school. Spring break is over. Obviously. I'm kind of glad, to be honest. Because he was starting to make me crazy at home. Because he's always bored. Nothing is fun to him. He never wants to do anything, though. I don't know what I'm going to do this summer. I know they find some stuff for him to do this summer or he's going to make me bonkers. <laughs> today is Clayton's day to bring snacks at school. And I have them sitting up there on the table. And guess what? They're still sitting up there on the table. So, after Jackson wakes up from his nap, I'm gonna run him up to the school really fast. And then I also, so this weekend, we're just crazy. We are just plain crazy. Our last name could just be crazy. Anyways, so we went to Lubbock on Saturday and I'm going to be filming a huge haul video. Jackson has come over here and got in into this stuff and it's on the floor, but yeah, huge haul. Like, there's so much stuff. And um, so we did that on Saturday. I don't know if I like this lipstick or not, guys. I feel like it's too dark, but I already have it on, so there's no turning back today. I might, it might grow on me. So we did that on Saturday, and then <laughs> we, on Sunday, we I got up. I finished my grocery shopping here in town on Sunday because we didn't get to do everything in Lubbock we wanted to on Saturday because it just got late really fast, and we didn't get home until after 11 o'clock Saturday night. And so I got up Sunday morning, finished my grocery shopping here in town, and then what did we do? We got back in the car and went back to Lubbock yesterday. <laughs> we're crazy, I'm telling you, we're crazy. Cody found a transmission for a really good price. He has a 63, I think it's a 63, um, Chevy truck that he is like, I guess gonna kinda make it a hot rod. He found a really good deal on a transmission for that truck. So he's like, if I don't get this now, then I'm stupid. I'm going to be regretting it. So we went back to Lubbock and got the transmission. And then while we were over there yesterday, we ate lunch at Panera Bread. And then we went to Target. And then we came home. And yesterday was so windy. And I brought my camera to vlog yesterday. Yeah, we got on the outside of town and there was a memory card in my camera. So no vlogging happened yesterday. What was I saying? Oh, yesterday it was so windy, like incredibly windy. It was, on the way there it wasn't too bad, but in the, the later it got, the worse the wind got. So on the way there, everything was clear, it was just windy. Oh, we did come across one dirt devil, like we almost, it almost hit our car. It was so scary. Cody had to like slow down big time and get on the shoulder because I know, I do not want any part of dirt devils. We One of those has hit our car before and um, it like pushed us off to the shoulder. It was so scary. It was so scary, we were on the interstate and it was so scary. It like hit us so hard and it like, we didn't have the car we have now. It was a couple years ago. More than a couple years ago, it was several years ago because uh, I don't even think Mason was born yet. No, he wasn't born yet because we didn't even have that car when Mason was born. Yeah, so it was just, yeah, it's been that long ago. Yeah, one of those dirt doubles hit us really hard and it like tore the under part of the car. Like it was like flapping in the wind and it was really scary. So we had to pull over and fix that. Yeah, it just hit us really bad. So yeah, I hate dirt doubles. I don't want any part of dirt doubles. And then that same, so a little backstory, that same weekend that that dirt devil hit us Dad. we were on our way back on the same interstate this was a different day it was just super windy that weekend we were on our way back and we got 
into a sandstorm like there was somebody had just plowed a field on both sides of the road it was so windy that that red dirt was going across the road like we were going in it and we could still see the cars in front of us and it wasn't that bad but then all of a sudden we couldn't see anything we couldn't see the cars in front of us we couldn't see the cars behind us we couldn't see the cars on the other side of the interstate it was just dirt and it was so flipping scary i never want to be caught in anything like that ever again in my life like when you can't see what's in front of you it's so scary and on the other side of the interstate there had already been a pile up because um you know people start stopping like just don't stop like that's the last thing you want to do is stop right in the middle of the lane because you can't see because you will get rear-ended and sure enough they did over there but anyways it was so scary so on the way back yesterday the wind had picked up and there had been freshly plowed fields again and it hasn't rained over here in months like <sighs> i can't tell you the last time i've seen rain i know it rained here well I'll take that back it rained here like a couple a few weeks ago but it was late at night late at night slash early in the morning and so i think everybody slept through it but we haven't had a good rain shower in months and months and months and months yeah we desperately need rain like crazy anyways i'm getting so sidetracked because i talk way too much on the way back yesterday there was fleshy plowed fields and there was one spot where it got started to get a little bit scary but it was all good it was all good but like it really had my heart beating really fast and my, my legs tensed up because it has brought me back memories to that one time and yeah do not like those so anyways um it's been super windy this morning coming out of the north so it's cold outside it's really nice this weekend minus the wind the temperature was really nice but now it's cold outside and yeah we won't be going outside today because it's just windy and cold the wind's coming out of the north at like 20 something miles an hour i do not know if i like this lipstick or not it's um i feel like it stays on good because i've been looking my lips and it's not coming off but i just don't know if i like the color the color that i wanted was the color i think it was one shade lighter than this one and they were completely out of it so it must be super popular that color but i'll show you what i got it's by maybelline and it's the super stay matte ink is it going to focus on this because it wants to focus on my face there we go this is what it is and it's in this shade it's the the number 70 and it's amazonian i guess that's how you say it emma it's like amazon kind of but Amazonian. I'm just gonna say Amazonian or something like that. That's the color that it is. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but um, since I bought it, I'll probably wear it because I hate wasting money. I haven't been able to wear my hair down, like down like this for several days now, maybe even close to a week. My eyes itching because my hair's been so staticky. So I'm gonna try it today. It's already staticky, so it'll probably get pulled up by the end of the day. But when we went to Lubbock this weekend, we went, I keep forgetting, I've always wanted to go to a grocery store called Sprouts, and I always forget that Lubbock has one. So Sprouts is just like an all natural, like they sell like organic and you know, all natural things and a lot of gluten free and natural sugar stuff. And anyways, that's what a Sprouts is. And so we went to it and I love that store. Like there was, so me, since me and Cody are starting to or since me and Cody have been dieting, you know, that we're eating healthier. So I could have bought that whole store. Everything in there looked, well, not everything. There was some stuff that I was like, no way. But there was a lot of stuff in there that looked good. So, yeah, I don't know if they have sprouts everywhere or not. I'm not sure. I know they have them up in Oklahoma because my sisters have told me that they've been to one. And that's how I found out about it because I've never heard about them until then. So then that's, how to, then that's when I had to Google to see which one was the closest one to us and uh this was several months ago because i keep forgetting that lubbock has one but anyways yeah they said they really liked it so yeah if you'll have a sprouts near y'all and you're into you know like healthier eating you want some healthy options go to that store and check it out because i really liked it mason's throwing his usual fit i cut his hair yesterday so he looks totally different mason did you get your hair cut mason He's not gonna look. I cut Clayton's hair too, and Allison got her hair cut. I forgot that I cut her hair, and I looked at it when I looked at her this morning. I was like, oh, I gotta say, what happened to your hair? But it needs to be straightened. But I cut quite a bit off because she had a bunch of stringy dead ends, and her hair's naturally curly, just like mine, so it needs to be straightened. 
You got your hair cut? But I do have the update on this lipstick, so it stays on really good. I've been drinking out of my water bottle. There's no lipstick on it. See? I haven't wiped it off or anything. You were so whiny. My corn rollers came in the mail today, so I get to do that this afternoon. Roll some change. I haven't done that in so long, so I might enjoy it actually. But yeah, my house needs attention, but I really don't feel like giving it attention right now. Since we weren't home all this weekend, nothing happened to the house cleaning wise. It ended up being so nice outside today. The wind stopped blowing. I don't know what the temperature is, but the high today was, I think 68 and it's probably, it probably is about that. Sun is shining. My battery's dying. <laughs> yep. So nice. It ended up being so nice. The kids should be out here playing. But Jackson is napping. Mason just fell asleep. It is past 5 o'clock, I do believe. That's real lovely. Cody left his coffee cup out here the other morning. We had coffee out here the other morning because it was really nice. I think that was actually yesterday morning, actually. But I wanted to show you Mason. I know he's sleeping, but I wanted to show you his nose and give you an update on his nose. It looks normal. Fine. Poor little guy sleeping. Look, focus on him. Yeah. So you can see the cut on his nose. But the scab is gone. So he always have a little scar there. Yeah. Somebody just woke up from his second long nap of the day. He just got the nap he took this morning was probably two and a half hours. And then this evening he probably took two or two and a half hour nap. What is wrong with my lens? All right, so my lens is starting to not open. Lovely. I kind of don't like the way Mason's acting. Here he was laying on the floor with his blanket and now he's laying here on the chair with his blanket and I have him a bowl right here because he keeps doing this like coffee gaggy thing and it's really making me nervous. And he was sitting on me and kind of doing that and I had Jackson and yeah, it made me nervous, but I had to get up so I could give Jackson some bites of food. He's having lasagna, that's what the kids okay, are having. Mommy. And I just checked Mason's temperature and he has a tiny temperature, like a tiny one. So, oh, fingers crossed that he is not trying to get sick. There for a minute, I thought Jackson was gonna wake up not feeling good because he took two long naps today, but he feels fine. He feels fine. He loves his Bubba Roos. Uh, can I hold them? Clayton, have you lost your other tooth yet? Ah. Uh, Why won't you just pull it out? Not until we're going to Bam's. Oh, you won't pull it out until we go to Bam's house, huh? Yeah, I want her to see every tooth I lose. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so here's what the kids had for supper tonight. I want some of this so bad. That's what I made Cody. It's got tomatoes and mushrooms and spinach and onion and garlic. <gasps> And then that's brown yeah. rice spaghetti. I'm gonna have a shake here in a little bit. <laughs> Clayton's got some homework to do. <laughs> He's punching my, my butt. What are you punching my butt for? Until you eat the shake. Oh, well, I'm not gonna eat it right now. Woo! Jackson wants to play though. Look. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Where's he headed? Towards that. What is that? Oh, Clayton had a headache when he got home from school today, so he took a little bit of Motrin. That's what that is. So they want to see your tooth. Let me see how wiggly it is. It just needs to cut. You just need to pull it out. Okay, I think it will focus now. Okay, move your finger. So it is so wiggly. Your breath is making it foggy. He's got a tooth coming in here, and then that tooth... Watch out. Open your mouth. And then that tooth coming in behind it. Mason does not feel good. And I'm a very playful kid. <laughs> You are a very playful kid in some mismatched pajamas. I, I tried to um, climb on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs>